border molding the lower is now performed. First, have the patient place the tip of the tongue straight out and forward, then side to side, and then back as if touching the roof of the mouth. This will eliminate an overextension on the lingual border, thereby creating the mylohyoid zone. Second, grasp the lower lip at the lip line and pull upward. This delineates the anterior frenum and vestibular sulcus. Third, secure two fingers on the tray finger supports and the thumb on the patient's chin to stabilize the impression in the mouth. Then have the patient pooch out and suck. This produces the anterior and buccal vestibular sulcus. Fourth, take the forefinger and thumb and secure the corners of the mouth pulling upward and forward. This forms the buccal frenum and the external oblique vestibular sulcus. Secure the impression until set, then remove. Let's review the mandibular border molding. One, tongue movements will shape the lingual border the mylohyoid space. Two, pulling on the anterior lip forms the anterior frenum and vestibular sulcus. Three, pooching motions will shape the anterior and buccal vestibular sulcus. And four, pulling on corners of lips produces the buccal frenum and the external oblique vestibular sulcus. Now analyze the impression for detail. If the tray rubs through the impression material along the peripheral borders, adjust by reducing the tray border approximately one to two millimeters before the final wash impression is made. Note the detail of the adjusted borders on the impression. 